here. I am the best man. My name is Dan Perosi, and it is my absolute honor to be up here today. I want to thank the families, both the bride and groom, for helping us out because there's no way all of our friends could have dealt with these two leading up to this. It's been tedious and stressful for them, so thank you so much. I can't tell you how much it means. Now, I've known Ralph for a long time, since middle school, but we really didn't become good friends until the last four years or so. And it was around the same time he started dating Courtney and the same time I started dating my girlfriend, Caitlin. And it, it really is such a, a privilege. It's such a no, no. <laughs> it's such a privilege to be a part of the beginning of your relationship and to be such a big part of this next step in your journey. And I can never stress in words how much it means to me to be a part of this. Now, there's three things I love about Ralph, and I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Ralph knows the right thing to say when you're having a bad day or you're down in the dumps. Now, back in sophomore year of high school. I put on a lot of weight, no lie. I went up to 230 pounds, and Ralph sees me, and he's so good at reading emotion, and he's such so much empathy, and I was so self-conscious, and he looks at me, the first day of school, sophomore year, sees my chubby face, and he goes, did you get stung by a bunch of bees? <laughs> Very lovely, thank you. The second thing I love about Ralph is that I've never met someone louder than me until I started hanging out with Ralph. And then I met Courtney. We're the only three people in here that really don't need a microphone to get the point across. And the third thing I love about Ralph, I'm moving on now. Um, now, I, I do remember the very moment Ralph told me he was going to propose. I was actually out in Utah at Zion National Park for another wedding. And he FaceTimes me at 1 in the morning, which means it's 3 a.m. over here. And he definitely had a few too many to drink. He goes, oh, come on, man. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I got something to tell you. And he tells me he's going to propose. And um, I was, I, then I was so honored that I was the first person he told. Now, I don't know if you guys know this about Ralph, but he's a little gullible, and Mark can attest to how he's very gullible with things I tell him to do. So I say, oh, that, man, I'm so happy for you. Where's Courtney? Oh, she's sleeping. Yeah, you should start going to mess with her while she's sleeping. And she's sleeping on the couch. He puts on, like, a gas mask from World War I. He's going, Courtney, it's me. And she wakes up, get the hell away from me. Much worse words than that, so we'll get rid of this one. <laughs> so, as much as I love Ralph, and he's one of my best friends, and I have so much fun with him, um, it's been so much fun becoming such a good friend with Courtney. Um, amazingly, even though we do a podcast about movies, I have more in common with movies on Courtney. Like, she messaged me about movies more than her. So being up here, it's not just Ralph that I'm here for, it's here for Courtney, and it really, I can't stress just how much it means to me. So, I'm not going to go much longer, because I think everyone wants to keep drinking, yeah, eating, yeah. dancing. So, Ralph, today you get to leave with a beautiful bride. And Courtney, you get to leave with a beautiful dress. <laughs> and, and for everyone that's friends with Ralph on Facebook and social media, that's what it feels like to chew five gum. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for both of our Toastmasters.